What is your name? Uh, my name is Mike DeBarb11. Where are you from, Mike? I'm from Little Rock, Arkansas. And what kind of education do you have? I have no degrees. I never graduated from high school because I was uh, expelled on two different occasions. Okay. Are you married or in a relationship? I have been into five different marriages where I had three kids and one, the first one was a miscarriage and I had two other kids and their names are Lindsay and Bethine. Okay. Do you have a job other than forgery? And if so, what was the job? Yes, uh, I had a job as a barber. A barber. Okay. When did you, when did your forgeries take place? Uh, my first was in 1976 and I was arrested for that and then I got out and then another one in 1979, which I was also arrested for. Okay, what type of forgeries are you known for? Uh, counterfeiting money, printing fake money, spending okay. it. Okay, tell me the specifics of your forgery. Uh, well, I'd mostly print fake $20 bills and $100 bills and I would take them to the mall, use them to buy whatever I really wanted, I guess, and then I did this so often that the Secret Service caught on and gave me the nickname as the Mall Passer. Okay. How long were your forgeries believed before you were discovered? Uh, my fake money counterfeit um, act lasted for about a year, and it went almost undetected until the Secret Service grew suspicious of my acts and searched a storage facility in my name where they found many um, illegal items and evidence that they used to build in my case against me. What do you think caused people to become suspicious and when were you caught? Well, I mean, the Secret Service had been closely watching me for years since I'd been in and out of jail, basically my whole adult life. But there was a mix up in 1978, there was a mix up at the Crime Information Center that led to the conclusion that I had died. So Secret Service hadn't been watching me since they thought I wasn't alive anymore. But then, and then in 1979, they caught on to my money forging act, rediscovered my existence, and then built a case against me to send me to prison. Okay, so were you arrested and then did you go to jail? Yes, I was arrested and then sent to court and sentenced to 375 years in maximum security prison. And those were not just forgery charges. I had domestic abuse, murder charges, uh, sexual assault charges, a lot of different charges that added up in that. Okay. And what are you up to today? Uh, not much, saying that I've been dead since 2011. Okay. Thank you.